All right, guys, uh, hopefully you can hear me okay. The drain is a little bit loud. I have it just dumping into the filter socks. I don't have a, uh, I don't know, I don't have a pipe going down into the water to keep it quiet, but um, that's okay for now. Um, I put the filter sock onto this tank so I can catch the sediment from the rock and the sand and get that all cleared up, and it's, <clears throat> it's cleared up quite a bit already. Um, Got the return pump feeding the tank. I got a Maxi Jet 900 and a Rio 800 Plus in here to get things moving and blow off any crap that's left on the rock. Because when I was putting the rock in here, <clears throat> it was still, you know, there was still some crap coming off of it. So I just pulled it off, and whatever's in there still will uh, blow off. I might add the other two pumps that I have in the bucket down here to the back of the tank um, just to keep circulation going in here. Um, this is not the aquascape. Um, I tried putting the rock in here so the flow can go through the rock easily still. Um, I had to turn the return pump up by two lights. So what, that's like 30% that it's at right now. Um, because the drain for the frag tank was starting to suck air, obviously, because I added the tank to it now. The new display tank is now running off of the return manifold so uh, naturally I had to turn the pump up um, I'm excited I started to clean it up in here I need to vacuum the floor um, obviously the carpet in here is destroyed from this this has been like a project room this is where I build things and you guys have seen my builds I built my tank in here my stand in here I built the fish room in here I dropped pipe glue on the floor but when we move I'm gonna be replacing the carpet that's gonna be part of our <laughs> agreement when we move so I'm not too too concerned about the carpet I have these rubber mats here that I'm gonna lay down in front of the tank and the frag tank um, just so I'm not always getting the carpet wet um, the next big part of this project is um, figuring out what I'm gonna do to get this skimmer running this is an enormous skimmer if you can't tell um, my plan is at this moment in time is to build some sort of rack system over the sump so I can have the skimmer over the sump if it would ever overflow or leak. We're just going to the sump because this is an external skimmer. Um, I don't really have much more to say. Um, this is like a huge turning point. I felt like I was never going to get to this point, but here we are. Um, and it's nice to see space in here again because before it was just I had to wiggle my way through everything so it's nice having the bin out of here I picked up all my trash and that's the majority of it was trash <laughs> and just you know pipes laying around tools laying around so I got it all picked up as much as I'm gonna do tonight anyways um, I'm tired it's late but I'm excited I wanted to show you guys what we are looking like so far instead of waiting another week or two um, I told you guys in one of my other videos I, I started a new job and that has consumed a ton of time, like a ton of time. So I had some time um, today to get this all done. I tested the water for the rock bin again and it was like, it was so clean. But did you guys see how dirty that water got when I was sloshing the water? Oh, that got dirty. So there was, it was still some nasty water. It just looked nice um, at first until I started looked like a chocolate milkshake <laughs> um, so yeah what I need to do now um, obviously is the lighting situation you guys are well aware of um, I need to get pumps for the refugium some circulation pumps I need to get circulation pumps for the frag tank and I already have uh, my pumps for the tank obviously those are going to be coming out of the other tank and going in here um, this tank measures externally as a 120 gallon tank but um, I think with the three quarter inch glass and the way the tank was built. I don't think this is a 120 gallon tank. I'm still going to be able to make it work. I got a feeling I'm going to be chopping up some of this Pukani, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to fiddle around with the rock um, probably next weekend or the weekend after or a month later. I don't really know. Um, work, work has to come first and the family has to come first. So uh, this is where we're at right now. We'll see uh, you know, what schedules um, will let me do. Um, got the Motion 2000 running. This is the Vertex Motion. Uh, this is the controller for it. And uh, right now I got it on speed setting number two. And as you turn the speed setting up, six is the, as high as you can go. That just makes the oscillation go quicker. 
Um, I think I'm really going to like it. Hopefully it stands up to the test of time. We'll see. Um, I've read reviews that these things break down and whatnot. But uh, I think if it'll, uh, you know, be legit and continue working, um, I think it'll be a pretty sweet unit. So, um, no leaks. Um, I was really checking the drain lines and the return line. No, nothing's leaking. Everything's looking good. Nothing's leaking on the frag tank. Uh, since I had to increase the, the pressure on the pump, I wanted to make sure nothing over here was blowing out. Refugium's looking good. Frag tank is looking good. No leaks. Everything's draining. This is still sucking a little bit of air every now and then. It goes back to its old full siphon. So we'll mess around with the flow in here a little bit. But right now I'm happy with everything. I'm not going to screw with anything at this point. I'm just going to kind of let it ride. Um, probably tomorrow I'll come in here, take the filter sock out, clean it, put it back on. Um, and probably start using the filter sock on both drains um, from the frag tank and the refugium. That's it guys, um, that's all I gotta say. So we'll see you in the next update. Um, super excited, all you guys that have stuck around through this, uh, I appreciate it. And this is definitely not the end of the journey, there's still a lot to happen here. Still got the skimmer to do, still got corals to add, got corals to frag, lighting system, there's a lot coming guys, so um, just bear with me. Like I said, I, I um, am consumed by work. So, all right guys, we'll see you in the next update. Thanks for watching y'all. Later on.